And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. You know, we're risking our lives out there doing this work. As it is written, we are killed all the day long, you know. We're going to receive power. We're going to receive for being faithful and being humble and accepting humility and humiliation. We're going to receive power, man. And every now and then we must meditate on that. You know, those of us that are truly sincere in this ministry. You know, and the brother Ramar gave the example of Yahweh Shai. The great things that he did. That was not a myth. You know, it was not crafted to be a nice bedtime story. It really happened, you know. Yahweh Shai really turned water into wine. He really walked on water. You know, he really uh, demonstrated every now and again the power that the Heavenly Father Yahweh gave him, his father gave him. And he said, we shall do greater. And we truly believe in Yahweh Shai. So if we truly believe in Yahweh Shai, we're going to do the things that he did. Absolutely, man. You know, I wholeheartedly believe that, you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Yow, shut! saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me, has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments.